imagination, but when I wash my motorcycle and change all of the fluids, it seems like the BMW rides like a brand new motorcycle. Hello everybody and welcome to Will's Stories. Pardon the wind noise, but I'm near the top of a mountain. It's a beautiful Sunday and for today's ride, I've jumped on the BMW and ridden up to Bogus Basin, a ski area located north of Boise. The road to Bogus is 16 miles long and it's all curves. One of the primary reasons I really enjoy riding motorcycles is the sensation of flying. And you really get that sensation when you're riding a curvy road. The motorcycle behaves like a gyroscope once in motion, wanting to stand up and go in a straight line. Unlike driving a car on a motorcycle, you must exercise counter steering to complete a turn. Seems counterintuitive, but at the handlebars, you push left and lean left to turn left, push right and lean right to turn right. Banking into the turns, back and forth on a windy road, gives you that flying sensation. I'm going to present a lot of content in today's show. Earlier today, I went to downtown Boise and attended the Father's Day car show. Lots of classic vehicles. These are cars that have a lot of heart and a lot of soul. Now, I'm not the owner of a classic car, but it sure is easy to appreciate the design, engineering, and construction of these vehicles. The modern upgrades and restorations are simply astounding. In my opinion, some of the muscle cars, luxury liners, and California surf wagons presented at this show are genuine works of art. Definitely classic pieces. V12 in that thing. Look at the size of it. Yeah, this might be the bell of the ball. It's really nice. Yeah. Side, not a step side. Oh, that's cool. 55.
Later in today's episode, we'll feature more classic wheels from the Father's Day Car Show in downtown Boise. But for now, I want to talk about my ride to Bogus Basin. Apart from the sensation of flying, there are many aspects of motorcycle riding to enjoy. You've got the wind, you've got the smells, the changes in temperatures as you ride. You're out there in the elements and you've got the freedom of the road. Motorcyclists operate the clutch with their left hand, the throttle and the front brake with their right hand. They're shifting gears with their left foot and slowing down pressing the rear brake with their right foot. It takes a lot of concentration, a lot of attention to run the controls of a motorcycle. Boise is truly blessed to have a ski area located so close to downtown. It's only 16 miles to the lodge. You can come up here and ski in the winter. There's access to trails for snowmobiles. And then in the summer, there's mountain biking, hiking, and a host of other activities. I enjoy riding up here for views of the Treasure Valley and the Hawaii Mountains located to the south. You name it, you can get out into nature and have a great time up here. Good. So how do you like hiking the trail to Stack Rock? I like it. It's a beautiful trail. It's pretty. <laughs> yeah, I really like hiking in the shade. So about every 10 minutes you might pass by a mountain biker or another hiker and they all say hello, howdy or thank you and pass by. And that is Idaho. I hope you always remain so. Hi. How are you doing? Hi. Hey doggy. <laughs> and I don't know what makes a dog happier. A pickup truck or a trail to hike. Hello. How are you doing? Good. Look, there's Stack Rock. Almost there. What's that? <laughs> A Mrs. Potato Head. With all the downed trees, it looks like the forest crews have done a great job of cutting a path for the bikers and hikers. <laughs> it's like a little window through the rocks. How you doing? Should we try climbing a little bit of it? think of the hike. Oh, I loved it. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, let's go back to downtown Boise and take another look at some classic cars and hot rods at the Father's Day Car Show.
Sunday night and I need to come down off this hill and go get some dinner. As always, I hope you found this video informative, entertaining. Hey, if you haven't yet, subscribe, leave a few comments, give it a like. Until next time, aloha.